Hi, um, I'm Stefan Schuster. And I'm Daniel Hiesen. We're here in a location where DNA was discovered by Friedrich Mischer in 1869. And uh, we're going to use this as an introduction to tell you about Megan, our new software. And in this process, we will cover the following uh, subjects. Uh, we will show you how to open uh, the Megan program, import a BLAST file, uh, how to navigate, select, inspect and find terms in the program as well as how to save and reopen your data files. So after you open the program you will see that uh, it will take a few moments and during this time Megan is loading the NCBI taxonomy which is uh, quite substantial and currently surprises about uh, uh, 429,000 uh, taxa. And once this is open, you can see that there's here is a, a main window and there's a second window which uh, tells you which commands have been executed by Megan. And some of the numbers that might be of interest to you are also in here. To import data, uh, please go to the menu file where you will see a, a sub-menu for import. And this gives you a choice for the different BLAST flavors that are out there. If you have a DNA to protein database comparison, you will use the BLAST X command. This gives you um, a possibility to choose a, a certain file in your data directory. In our case, we termed this the .blast file, and we just click on open, and um, Megan will give you now a choice whether to import a full data set or a summary version of it. The summary version has a somewhat limited capacity that we will tell you about in the more advanced uh, video. The text that's uh, being displayed in the message window down here is all terms that are not compatible with the NCBI taxonomy. And in the end, um, Megan will give you a summary, in our case, like um, 6,238 matches out of uh, 485,000 that were not recognized. You shouldn't worry about this. Okay, now we've seen, this is, now we see the result of the Megan analysis of the, the data set that we've just imported. You can see that this is a tree that's a part of the NCBI taxonomy and uh, it goes from left to right. So at the very left you have the root of the taxonomy and then you have you know, cellular organisms as the second highest level and then you have different bacteria, different bacteria, archaea and eukaryotes and so on. And uh, one of the most uh, powerful features of this representation is that you can collapse and uncollapse part of the taxonomy. For example, you might just want to have get an overview of the assignment, so you might choose to display the results the level of kingdoms. Uh, you can then go in and uncollapse specific taxa, for example you want to see in more detail the breakdown of bacteria, and then we can say okay we're particularly interested in proteobacteria say, and then we can uncollapse further. If we want we can uncollapse the whole subtree below a given node. One of the interesting features is that each of these circles represent the number of reads that have been assigned to this particular taxon and uh, to see that number you can also uh, select this menu item here and you can see in this particular case there's 42 reads assigned to this taxon and the size of the circles gives a representation of this number on a, a logarithmic scale. Um. Before we continue, I show you that you, of course you can resize uh, the Megan main window uh, to any size that you like or to the actual size of your monitor. And uh, for uh, getting a nicer overview, I will use the feature uh, of assigning a certain uh, level of in the taxonomy. I use the number four. And uh, in this part of the demonstration, I will show you that you can select certain nodes by shift clicking. You can add to a certain selection or you can uh, use the shift track. I'm holding down the shift key now and I'm dragging and this will then allow me to select a certain number of um, uh, taxons. And for this we have an extra menu over here, the select menu and it lets you select, for example, the entire leaves. So now all the taxons on the right are being selected, or we could even say invert this. Now everything else in the tree is selected. And there are a few more options where you could also look at uh, intermediate nodes 
and you could select uh, certain levels uh, in the order. I think this is a, a good way. And whatever has been selected, this is what of uh, other operations can be carried out on, for example, then for graphical display. Okay, so one of the things that you might want to do uh, is to select a node and then inspect the blast assignments, the blast matches that have been used to assign you to that node. You do that by using the context menu, obtained by right-clicking on the node, and then this shows us the inspector. And now, if you know, this is a higher level, level taxon, so what the bookmaker in this case does is provides all the the taxa that are at this level or lower and then for each of these taxa you can open up this display and you can see the different reads that have been assigned here then for each of these reads you can see the the blast hits that they have and then for each of these blast hits you can actually go in and see the the alignment as reported by blast. Um, other important feature um, and this is the core technology of Megan is that you have access to four filters which allow you to make the analysis more specific and this is a minimum uh, support for taxa here you can say how many reads need to be binned onto a certain taxonomic node before it's being displayed and of course the higher you set this number the more specific your um, analysis is going to be a second parameter is the min score here we have a filter that filters the blast hits by their bit score and you can see as you pull this 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 tool along you can see the the which blast hits are going to be discarded and so if we set this bit score to filter to 289 say then we're only using 80,000 of the 400,000 uh, hits and if you press the apply button a recomputation is immediately performed and then you see the result of the analysis, the new result. Um, the next filter is a top uh, percentage filter. The top percentage filter tells you how much difference there has to be between the best hit and the second best hit. And if um, this threshold uh, is being crossed, then we only display uh, the number one hit and not all the other hits. And in this regard, this uh, read will be assigned to Israel Leaf or to a higher level a taxon, depending whether it's inside or outside this threshold. First the menus are for you to explore and here in the edit menu beside the uh, normal one from the system, cut, copy, paste, is a defined menu. And the defined menu lets you search for um, certain strings of text and uh, you can also define the targets in which you, you want to search for that. Future versions of Megan will also see an expansion in that area. The last uh, part of this introduction is you are of course able of saving your work. If you perform the save as command, you will be asked whether you want to save the full data set or the summary data set. As I said before, the summary data set uh, is a limited version of your data analysis this has some restrictions with it uh, on what can be perform performed and cannot be performed. And once you do this, your um, sample name will be uh, maintained and the extension .megan will be added to the file name. And you can then edit, uh, save the file to your uh, target directory. Once you want to close Megan, you would go to the file menu, close, and um, this will end the program. If you restart uh, the program for the next time, you will see that uh, all the operations will perform much faster than uh, when you had to import your data originally. And after loading the taxonomy, which is happening in just a few seconds, you now have the opportunity to go to open recent and the last file you have been working on is displayed as file number one. And you can see now that uh, the loading of your data file is performing at a much faster pace and you can immediately continue to work where you started off. Yeah, so I hope that gave you some idea of how to get started with the program. And so if you want to know more details of how to use a program, please take a look at the other screencasts that we've provided. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Thank you.